Hey, Josh. Um, how are you? Good, thanks. Good. Uh, two part question. Uh, first, um, shit. Your father, how, how much does he, how involved is he in your life and him being an assistant coach of the Edmonton Oilers? I would think that uh, he's got a lot of advice for you. Uh, very involved in my life, both off ice and on ice. Um, you know, he's, he's been amazing with that throughout my entire life and just being able to compartmentalize things for me and, and be the hockey dad when he needs to be hockey dad and be just dad when, when he needs to be dad. Um, so I'm very, very grateful for that. Uh, he hasn't, uh, he ha hasn't given me a lot of, a lot of tips since he came up to Edmonton. I mean, we still chat, but a little bit different dynamic now he still does a great job obviously talking with me and saying what he needs to say um he's been a good a good uh shoulder to lean on here through the, the last 24 hours peter Baugh, the athletic josh good to meet you thank you what uh what was your i guess initial reaction when you when you got the call and just take me through the the last 24 hours and what they've been like yeah uh pat called me uh i was just supposed to head out the door of the hotel I was around six o'clock and I went up to his room and he just kind of broke the news to me. Um, from there, it was a lot of phone calls, uh, a lot of just quick packing in the room, uh, getting organized and didn't really have time to say goodbye to any of the guys. Um, I was on a plane. I was on my way to the airport within the hour and then uh, caught the flight out at 930 and I was back, landed in LA around two o'clock, got to the hotel around 220-ish and then Tried to fall asleep last night. Um, struggled a little bit with that, but but um, it was a quick quick turnaround. It's been a bit of a whirlwind, whirlwind so far. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Hey Josh, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, so I wanted to ask. So playing in Anaheim with uh, you know a far different decor than what you're probably going to play with here in Denver. A lot of younger, faster guys like Makar and Gerard and guys like that. Just. How is it? How is the adjustment going to be for you to come in and just play the game that you know that you can play, rather than kind of get stuck in that uh, fast-paced offensive game that a lot of the guys here play? Well, I think it'll be an adjustment, um, just learning how to play within their system and, and learning, you know, players' tendencies and how to bounce off them. You know, I, I don't think this is a situation where I'm trying to come in and and be this amazing, amazing player. I think that they have so much talent here that really all I need to do is just try to come in and, and fly under the radar and help keep pushing the team in the right direction. Um, doing the little things that, that I do uh, that, you know, a lot of times just go unnoticed. And, and I think that's kind of the best way to describe it is if, if I'm not being noticed, then it's probably a good thing. Dan Greenspan, Associated Press. Hey, Josh. Uh, what are your initial impressions of your new teammates and your coaches? And, and after so many years in Anaheim, just what's it like going to a new team, new city, uh, big change? Yeah, it's been, it's been a big change. I mean, it's been, like I said, it's been a whirlwind experience so far. Um, just all I've ever known was Anaheim, right? And, you know, I had, I have great memories there, but uh, the transition has been great. A lot of it, the guys have been amazing and, and very welcoming and warm and the coaches have been awesome with uh, Helping me to feel feel uh, good about myself going into the game and making me feel like like they're happy that I'm here and, and excited for me and um, you know trainers and, and all the staff have done a great job kind of getting me getting me set for tonight. It's been a, a very quick turnaround, so uh, I give a lot of credit to, to those guys. They, they do a great job. All right, guys, we have time for three more. Terry Fry, Colorado Hockey Now. Despite your dad's long playing career, he hasn't been a career coach. He just got into it. How weird is it going to be, or how, how is it going to be to have both of you with Western Power teams? Yeah, I, you know, I don't think it'll be it'll be too weird. I think, like I said, we we do a good job of of keeping things where they need to be um, and still maintaining that father son relationship. Um, you know, he's been coaching, not maybe not professionally for uh, for a long time, but he was he cut his teeth in, in, in the WHL for for quite some time, so. We've been going through it ever since I was a young kid. You know, he, he's been coaching, and as I was growing up and coming through, uh, you know, juniors in college, and, and even my first couple of years in the minors and, and the NHL. So, uh, we, it's nothing new really to us. Just the only difference is now he's he's at the NHL level when playing in the same league against each other. Jesse Montano, DNVR. 
Hey there, Josh. Uh, just, I know you said it's been a bit of a whirlwind for the last 24 hours. Uh, I don't know how much time you've had to kind of stop and think, but when you heard that it was the avalanche, what was kind of your first thoughts? Oh, excitement. I mean, I've had to play against them here for the last couple of years um, as they've been building this, this club that they have now. And I mean, it's been really difficult. They have, they have a great team. They play fast and they can score. And, and it's just, it's, um, it's been tough to play against them. So now joining them, uh, when I found out, I, I was super excited, obviously, with where they're at in the standings and, and the opportunity to uh, possibly play some playoff hockey. I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. So I was, uh, I was excited over anything else. And the last one here, Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Yeah, Josh, I just want to confirm, I think you said this, but I want to confirm that you're in the lineup tonight. And can you tell me who your D partner is, please? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in the lineup tonight with uh, Ryan Murray. All right. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate it. Thank you.